Hey everybody, Wayne here. I have a fun recon today. We're going to take a look at the just released 1918-1919 Storm in the West, um, a World War One strategic game designed by Ted Racer, or Racier? I'd probably Racer, Ted Racer, published by GMT Games. Correct me on the name um, if or when I'm wrong. Um, also includes sort of a second game called Plan 1919 Campaign. So this game is, I believe, is actually kind of a reprint. Um, let me start off at the beginning and say that I've actually, I have very few World War One games, so I was super excited when I saw this one. I wanted to pick up a copy. Luckily, I was able to get one. Um, but anyway, so I believe it's kind of a reprint of one of Ted's much earlier designs, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, and so, but GMT took it, um, you know, make it look good, good, nice GMT production. It's not, it doesn't have a mountain map or anything like that. It's a, not a super heavy box. Um, it is a full size game, uh, clearly. So go ahead and look at the back here. See the map, which we're going to get all spread out and take a look at that bad boy, but looking pretty good. Some counters. <clears throat> 1918 19 Storm in the West is a two player game, which also works well for solo play. That's what it says on the box, and that's why I picked it up. That covers the last nine months of World War II on the Western Front. Also included is a second game, Plan 1919, which assumed a German defensive strategy in 1918 and an all-out allied assault to win the war the following year. Very cool. Um, so it's only a game complexity for GMT anyway. It's a 4 out of 9. Solitaire suitability, 7 out of 9. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what the components look like. So like I said, it's not a heavy box, so it's not going to be a mounted map or anything like that. But it's okay. You know, we're looking at a more of a traditional um, Hex Encounter style game. Nothing, uh, <clears throat> nothing out of the ordinary in that aspect. Right. Get out of here. All right. Cover looks very nice. Looks good. I like it. If I can get it off there, we can take a look at the rest. So, all right. It's got our rules here. Right away, you can see, <clears throat> looks like... Down to 17 or 18 pages for the regular rules. See scenarios, designer notes, etc. So, 18 optional rules, 17, 18 pages of rules. Okay, so nice. Uh, the mat, the matte finish. You know, not a, um, not a glossy finish like a matte finish. I think it's usual for GMT rule books. Some pictures here. You have highlighted areas, shaded areas for design notes, turn sequence here. Everything looks pretty clear. You know, we're not as usual. We're not going to go read the rulebook here. We're just going to kind of leaf through, look at it. Get some pictures in here, just to give you a general idea of what the rulebook is like or what it looks like anyway. Um, what to be prepared for. Definitely a lot of text. I mean, there's only oh, there's okay. So we get some examples. What it looks like maybe during the combat. So all right, yeah. No, there's definitely some pictures, full color rulebook, everything like that. Some scenarios. So yeah, it looks like about 18 pages of rules or so, um, including those optional rules. So, cool. All right. How many counter sheets we got here? Okay. So we're looking at... <clears throat> Storm in the West, right? Okay. So we have the 1918, then counter sheet for 1919 Storm in the West. So this is a full counter sheet. And then the other one, as you can see, very clear, easy to read. Units are... Larger than half inch. Um, never remember what these are. Um, eight fifteenths or five ninths or whatever. Um, looks good. A little bit there for the aircraft. These will be very easy to read. Big Bertha over here. Big Bertha. Nice. Double sided. Yep. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna punch. Looks like you're gonna punch pretty easily. Yep. All right. Very nice. Nice and thick counters, though. Um, oops, hopefully you can see that. Nice and thick. They don't look too... I don't even think necessarily have to clip them. There's a couple fuzzies, so we'll see. May clip them, may not. We'll see. Other than that, though, they look pretty good, actually, even punched out like that. So counters look good. Pretty standard. Hex encounter, right? What do we got here? Assume that's the map, and then... Okay, so we got... We got the map. We'll save that for last. Oh, we have a uh, player aid card. Two player aid cards. Like they're going to be the same, so let's look at one of them. So, player aid card for the game. CRT, 1918 replacement chart. Um, enemy zone control summary table. Big Bertha's notes. 
The other side's going to be terrain effect chart, tactical bombing, strategic bombing, plan 1919 replacement table. All right, so double sided. This card stock. All right, I'll help you out. And it looks like in the box here, you're getting two dice, two uh, d6, and then a fun little insert. And I assume nothing underneath. Yep. So um, insert kind of obviously fills up the game, considering um, if you look at the components, it's you know paper map, one and a half, one and a quarter counter sheets, a couple player aid cards, and one rule book. So obviously they did not need the full insert for but for this box size then it made sense to keep it otherwise it kind of be everything be rolling around in there otherwise the box it only really need to be like about that thick so all right um pause the video while i get the map all folded out all right <clears throat> sorry for the camera moving a little bit here my bad i took it off the mount already um as you can see it is a full size full size map you know 32 by or 22 by 34 or whatever um, 22 by 32, whatever it is. So full size, uh, 1918 Storm on the West side. And one of the reasons I didn't put it under Plexi, because normally with this type of paper map I would, is it is double-sided. So you can see, so we had the 1918 side. Whoa, it's flying through the air. Careful, everybody, careful. All right, 1919. Um, boom, plan 1919. So it does have a variant for 1918 Storm on the West. So, you know, it, has, uh, it says two different games in the box. I mean, maybe more like, you know, one game within a variant, so half of a game, right? I mean, it's clearly not a completely different game, but that's cool. It's always nice to have extra gameplay options. The map here um, looks very good. Art looks good. Let's see. Map art. Charles Keebler. Kibler. Very nice. Good job, Charles. I mean, he's done quite a few for GMT. Everything looks really good from up here. It looks really good up close as well. See the fortification walls. Seeing town names. Paris. Cities. You know, Germany over here, etc. Looks very good. Um, you have a big data track. Because then there's also a turn record track over here. Did notice, and some people had commented online, they did not like the... Um, the dead bodies there. Sorry for the glare. I just saw that there. Um, and the German dead pile. The Nally dead pile. Dead bodies there. So, you're seeing some skeletons. So, I mean, it is a war game. It is representing the death of thousands of soldiers. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm okay with it. I don't I don't particularly care. I don't have a strong opinion either way. Um, some people didn't like that. I don't really care. It is what it is. Part of the game, right? It's, it is war. We're representing war. So, but... The game looks good. Um, counters look really good, really nice. I don't want to lose these. I got a couple of loose counters here. Everything looks good. Nice, good looking map. Decent, let's see, decent uh, counter hex sizes, I believe. Um, yeah, so they're a little. Counters look a little big on the hex sizes, actually, now that you look at them. But I may have to trim this, the corners just to kind of fit them in a little easier. We'll see. All right, uh, that is. 1918, 1919, Storm in the West from GMT. Hope you guys liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you want to check this one out. It looks like, uh, I think it's going to be standard uh, Hex Encounter. So for Solitaire, I thought initially it was Chip Pull, but I don't believe it is Chip Pull. I think it's going to be more of like an I Go, You Go style, which a little bit of a bummer. I, you know, that's more of a two-player game, less of a true Solitaire game, but that's okay. We've played those before, and uh, we'll do it again. So until next time, guys, later.